Today on ComTech Engineer, we answer the all-important question that is, what if I want to game on Linux like a total chad, but also want a controller that is wireless and has rumble capabilities? Well, we finally have the answer. Behold, the Logitech F710, the big brother to arguably the most compatible controller ever to touch Linux, the Logitech F310. If you watch this channel, you'll be very familiar with the Logitech F310. I've used it for nearly every single game I've ever played, apart from games that either require a mouse or flight simulator games like X-Plane. Although the Logitech F310 does pretty well at flight simulator games also. But enough talk about the F310. Let's turn our attention to the F710 and answer the question, do I think this controller is better than the F310? Well, let us first go over the features of the F710. Aesthetically, the F710 comes in only one color motif, a silver and black, which looks pretty good. Because of its wireless capabilities, it is significantly heavier than the F310. It also has a bulkier backside, where my fingers normally rest on the F310. Other than that, the button layout is nearly identical to the F310. We have two analog joysticks with click-down L3 capabilities, a D-pad, four colored face buttons, and five buttons in the center of the controller. A back button, a Logitech button, a start button, a mode button, and a vibration button, which will man manually turn on or off the vibration with the push of a button. Moving on to the triggers, we have a pretty standard layout with two left triggers and two right triggers, with the bottom triggers being pressure sensitive. And of course, just like on the F310, we have the comp compatibility mode switch that allows us to switch from X input mode to direct input mode. I always leave my controllers in X input mode when gaming on Linux. Okay, now that we have covered the features of this controller, how does it feel like to game? Well, it feels almost identical to the F310 in every single aspect. I have been playing with this controller every day for about a week now, and it is a solid gaming experience with responsive buttons and really no problems to report whatsoever. After doing some research online, I found that some people have had strange disconnection issues. I haven't had any issues so far myself, but your mileage may vary. Besides the extra weight and the addition of the vibration, if someone was blindfolded, they could probably be fooled into thinking that this was the F310. So if that is the case, is the F710 better than the F310? Well, like so many other things in life, it depends. Let's first look at cost. The F710 list price on Amazon is $50, US but it can be found on sale for about $38. Compare this to the F310, which can be found on Amazon for usually less than $20. So an obvious win for the F310 there. It really boils down to the type of gamer you are. If you have an extra $50 and absolutely need vibration feedback, and like the convenience and neatness of wireless controllers, I would absolutely recommend the F710. However, if you want absolute cheap simplicity, that will work 100% of the time, the F310 is the way to go. We have to remember, too, that even the most expensive, high-tech wireless technology will never be as reliable as a simple wired controller. So even though I didn't have any problems, it is likely that connections or lag issues will eventually happen from random electromagnetic interference. So in conclusion, if you want a dead nuts, reliable controller, that is cheap. I would go with the Logitech F310. If you're willing to pay a little bit of extra money and you want the convenience of wireless, I would go ahead and check out the Logitech F710. Like I said, some people online have had some connectivity issues. I, in the past week, haven't had any issues, so I guess just be aware of that. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.